This is Gina from hauntedflower.com and this is my cat Harley. And Harley has had a lion cut haircut. So he looks ultra cute. He's got little booties and a flashy tail and he's pretty happy with himself. And he's here in this video today because we are going to talk about big cats. This is a big cat video. And I'm going to go through my opinion of the top 10 big cat characters in cinema. Number 10 on the list is Raja from Aladdin. Because what princess wouldn't want a tiger for a best friend? Number 9 would be Shere Khan from The Jungle Book in the Disney animated film. Why did I choose Shere Khan instead of Bagheera? Well, because Shere Khan is kind of a badass and uh, kind of rules the jungle for the most part. Number eight would be the Cowardly Lion from The Wizard of Oz. This is a lion that doesn't act much like a lion. In fact, the book version has a much better version of the Cowardly Lion as far as heroics go, but the movie has songs. I rewatched the movie We Bought a Zoo today, so number seven is going to be Spar, the sad tiger who is sick and needs his meds and Everyone keeps trying to get him to take the meds, and it's so sad, it's all symbolic. And you just kind of want to cry because you want the tiger to get better, but you know the tiger's not going to get better, and it's, whew. So that's why Spara is at number seven. Number six is Mufasa from The Lion King. I chose Mufasa as opposed to Scar or Simba or Nala, simply based on the fact that Mufasa was a pretty darn good leader. He was a great example to his community. He set out a lot of good lessons. Mm. Number five is another Disney movie. This one is King John from Robin Hood. Why? Because he's hilarious. He's so whiny and he really makes the movie. So even though he's a villain, I really, really like King John and that's why he made it to the list. Number five is Duma from the movie called Duma. It's about, if you haven't seen it, a boy and his cheetah. And they're hanging out, having a great time until the boy's family has to move to the city. And so the boy wants to send the cheetah back to the wild. In this one, there's a lot of action and there's people after them and there's animals after them and stuff. And it's all kinds of like heroics and good cat moments and things. Number four is Elsa from the movie Born Free. I finally watched this for the first time today. I really wanted to cry a lot. Um, this couple adopts a young lion cub and keeps her until adulthood because of uh, the wife being lonely. And then they want to put the lion back in the wild and it's very, very tough to do so because she doesn't have any of the wild characteristics. She hasn't been learning to hunt and when you put her out there she wasn't hunting for herself. She wasn't getting along with the other lions. But given time and a lot of trial and error, they eventually get her to a place where she can rejoin the wild and have cubs of her own. And then the music comes up and it gets you so emotional. Mm -hmm. You'll have to excuse my sore throat. It's really funky today. Number three on the list is Sita from African Cats. This was a movie um, that had a couple of different stories going on. There were some stories about some lions and there's stories about some cheetahs. Sita is from the cheetah story. She's a mama cheetah. She's raising five cheetah cubs in a crazy hyena territory that was super duper dangerous and at times very, very sad. But she's an awesome, fierce mama cheetah, so that's why she gets to make it onto the list. Number two is Richard Parker from Life of Pi. Richard Parker makes it to the list because he's a tiger. He gets stranded in a boat with this boy after a uh, terrible, terrible shipwreck. Richard Parker kind of communicates with the boy and it's just all kinds of exciting because he's symbolic and he's an adversary and he's a friend and he's so many things in the story and he's a tiger and that makes it super duper amazing. Oh, I just spilled tea all over myself. Before I get to the super duper number one big cat pick, I need to take a little detour with you for a moment to explain another reason why I'm doing this list today. I went on a trip to Africa last year and I got to take care of cheetahs and meerkats and vervet monkeys and baboons and lions and caracals and so many amazing, amazing animals and it was an amazing time in my life. I loved it so much. I love these animals and I've been just dying to go back. Fast forward to today, I have a chance to go back. I have an opportunity. I am a finalist in a video competition 
And if I win, I get to take a four-week stay to the amazing Cheetah Experience, which is a wildlife refuge in South Africa where they have cheetahs, lions, and other animals and go hang out with them and snuggle cheetahs again, which I desperately want to do. There's even a video on my channel called Race for Survival, Saving the Lions. That is the video that I submitted. The way you guys can really help me out is you need to go to Facebook, type in Cheetah Experience. Go to the Cheetah Experience Facebook page. Only votes cast on that page will count. You have to scroll down till you see the video entries, Go to entry number three for Regina Wagner and click like. If, I hope you'll like my video, but please click like to vote. If I have the most likes, I win. So help me out. I really want to go back to Africa and I swear I will we'll share pictures with you when I get back and it will be amazing, but please, please, please help me out. Okay, now that all that's out of the way and I've given you my spiel, the number one pick for the best big cats in cinema, in my opinion, is Aslan from The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Why? Because he's like a god and he's like the most amazing character ever. He's understanding. He wants to teach you lessons. He sacrifices himself for his friends. He is just such a great example to the whole world in Narnia. And he's just so freaking awesome. And he can regrow his hair like that. That's kind of cool. That is my list of the top 10 big cats in film. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to go vote for entry number three for Regina Wagner on the Cheetah Experience Facebook page by clicking like on that post. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye.